Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make up videos and I'm really excited to show you today's video just because it is the first acrylic painting that I've done all year. Um, I'm pretty sure the last one that I did was my alter ego painting that I made about mid to late last year. So it's been a while but I'm really happy to be back using acrylic paint because I really do like it. Um, and yeah, so you might recognize this image um, and that's because I actually um, did this drawing for one of my Inktober drawings last year um, and I really liked it. I really liked the idea and I liked the image that I made during Inktober and then I was like, I want to make a, a colored version into a painting. So here it is. Um, so for the drawing, I I just redrew it. I didn't bother like enlarging it and copying it and all that kind of stuff. I just I just redrew the image, and then I put um, spray fixative on the drawing just so it wouldn't you know move. And then I went in with the acrylic paint. So the first layer that I did um, was just a really thin layer of paint to kind of get an idea of what colors I wanted to use and that kind of thing. Um, and then you'll see here, I start kind of putting um, a bit more thicker paint on um, just so it's not so transparent because I didn't want it to be transparent at all. Um, and for this one, I'm doing a little bit of shading. It's not like a lot, um, but I'm really happy with how this turned out and especially how the skin turned out. Um, I don't know why, it's just, it's really simple, but I think it's really effective. And basically how I did that was just applying kind of thinner layers over the top and kind of blending them out while the paint dries. Um, and yeah, I think, I think the trick is just to do like kind of thin layer on top of thin layer to kind of get the look that you're after. Um, if that's, you know, the kind of style that you want to paint in. Um, but yeah, no, super happy with how that turned out. Um, and another thing, I'm, like, I'm really happy with how this whole piece turned out because I kind of had an idea in my head of what kind of style I wanted to paint this in and it's pretty accurate to what I, like, envisioned, so that's good because a lot of the time you'll think of something and then you paint it or whatever and it just looks completely different. Um, but this one turns out pretty close to what I was thinking and the kind of shading that I wanted to do. So I'm really happy with that and this is the kind of style that I want to be exploring more with my acrylic paintings. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to get into doing more acrylic paintings like this and I hope you guys are happy to see more of these. Um, as you can see here I'm actually adding a darker colour for her eye makeup and it's not actually black. It's um, burnt umber but it looks pretty much like black which is what I was going for because I didn't want to use black but obviously I want it to kind of look black. Um, and I, I wasn't sure if that black would look, I should say the burnt umber, if it would look too harsh or anything um, because I really do like the um, burnt sienna lines that I've done um, but no I'm really happy that I did put the burnt umber on her eyes on the little heart and her earrings just because it really draws your eye to her eyes and I mean it's pretty obvious what the focal point of this piece is it's obviously her face there's not much else to this piece um, but it really I think that really kind of draws you towards her eyes um, so I'm really happy with that decision. And also, I'm really happy that I used Burnt Sienna for the outline. I mean, she she definitely does have an outline, um, but it's not like super harsh. It's not, it's not black. I think that would be way too harsh. Um, but I really like the Burnt Sienna, how it's really like warmed up the image. Um, and that's just straight Burnt Sienna. I haven't mixed anything in with it. Um, and then here I've started working on the background. Um, I actually put the colour down too dark 
to begin with and you'll see that I do quite a few layers kind of trying to lighten it up a bit um, but for that one I mainly just used like white and like a dark blue to achieve that color and I wanted to keep the background a really cool color just because she's basically all warm colors so I wanted to have a bit of contrast um, with the piece um, and I'm quite happy with the background. I originally I didn't know what to do and then I was like oh I could do... At first I thought they were going to be bricks and then I was like oh I don't want them to be like too warm and then I was like oh they could be tiles so they're meant to be cool coloured tiles um, maybe in like a school setting maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know why, but it's really um, satisfying watching myself paint these the tiles in the background. I don't know why. Um, and I probably should have um, like did the background first and then painted her over the top, but I didn't really think of that um, and it was kind of too late. So yeah, I didn't really mind painting around her because her silhouette was pretty easy. Um, and again with the background it's just lots of layers and thin ones um, just so I, it wasn't too drastic a change but yeah now I'm happy with how the background turns out even though I did you know put the first color down too dark and I did layer quite a few times over the top of that although I mean sometimes that can be good though because it kind of adds a bit more depth to your painting um, but yeah, no, happy with how that is. And I didn't really add a lot of shading for her t-shirt, um, just because I want it to be quite like flat and bright. So yeah, the shirt was pretty easy to do. It was just a bit more tricky with the text and everything. Um, but other than that, it was just kind of like flat color. Um, and yeah, I also had a lot of fun painting her hair. As you can see here, I'm actually making it a lot more pink compared to what I had it. Just because I think I did have too much burnt sienna mixed in with it beforehand and I did want the pink to kind of match her shirt and bubblegum more. Um, but yeah, the hair was super fun to paint. I don't know why, it's not really the most realistic hairstyle but it was fun. Um, I always enjoy drawing or painting hair so that's probably why. Um, also, this video is a lot longer than what my videos usually are. That's because this painting did take hours to make, so I had hours of footage and I mean I didn't even film everything. There's like bits and pieces throughout the video that are missing here and there and then at the end I didn't bother filming um, kind of like the last minute details just because I mean by that point it gets a little bit repetitive. Um, and I actually like to get quite close to the painting so I didn't want to like kind of restrict myself um, so yeah I decided to leave the very end out um, but this is pretty much almost finished here anyway um, so yeah I hope you all like the video and don't forget that you can now buy prints of her over in my online store which is mxmarie.com forward slash shop and here's the finished painting. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. And you'll probably notice that this piece changes a fair bit throughout the video. That's because I started it and then I wasn't really that happy with it. So I kind of didn't work on it for a couple of days um, and then decided to come back.